again. So on this video, I'm going to show you how I build the body. Um, so this is the head. I normally work with uh, small squares and rectangles rather than fiddly circular shapes because it can be quite difficult to then stitch around those. So I stitch that slight curved edge in there and that's just enough to be able to give that rounded shape to the head. So I'm using a back stitch, just regular thread, nothing fancy. And that just goes all the way around, softening those curves around the corners and stitching on three sides. There you go. So I just need to clip off those corners there. And that's a hip. Flip it inside out. There we go. So it works exactly the same for the body. I'm just going to round off those corners there, just a little guide to show. And then stitch it exactly the same. And so now we move on to the stuffing. So it's just a regular plain wadding, uh, pulling apart so it's nice and fluffy and just a little at a time and just keep feeling that texture until it's sorted. It needs to be quite firm um, because you're going to be stitching things together and adding, let's say, some limbs and everything. So if it's too soft, it doesn't quite work right. So once it's nicely stuffed, take another thread and start stitching up that seam bottom there. This is quite a fiddly one to try and get on camera. Uh, but you can see it's just slowly pulling those two seams together. I'm going to try and make it so that the seam doesn't show too much but because it's got a slight texture pile on the fabric it does hide a little bit and this will also be hidden as this is where the neck joins. So once I finish doing this I do it exactly the same on the body and you have two finished round sort of shapes. <laughs> Once I've gotten to the end there and just do a little the needle sculpt tweak to make that a little bit rounder and pull the head a little closer in. Lots of stitching through from one side to another. And there. Lovely. Thank you. 